Hi, my name is Claudia and this is my channel So Far So Good where I'm going to be talking about my sewing makes. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about New Year's Resolution and um, this tag has been created by Con by Candy and a girl called Boz. I've been tagged by Michelle by, um, actually her channel is called Win Michelle 4 so I'll tag all those four channels below. And let's get right into the questions. So uh, there's five questions all together. I think some were kind of hard to answer. But the first question is, what's your favorite make of 2017 and why? So I'd have to say there's two makes that I really enjoyed in 2017. Um, one was uh, I did in the end of last year and it was a stretch velvet and it was for the hashtag little red dress um project and i'll write the actual tag below i don't remember the actual one but um it was a red stretch velvet and i used uh the sew over it wrap dress and it came out a lot better than i expected um the instructions were really easy to follow and i just thought it was really elegant looking and i was really happy with And my second make is my son's Halloween costume. And the pattern's from Twig and Tail. It's a little vest hoodie with, um, it's supposed to look like a little dragon. And it just came out so cute. It was the first lined uh, clothing I've ever made. Um, didn't come out perfect, but I really enjoyed making it and it came out just adorable. So I'll try to post the picture here if I can figure it out. Okay, so two. Question two, what did you attempt in 2017 that you won't be doing next year and why not? So two, question two, what did you attempt in 2017 that you won't be doing next year and why not? Um, I don't think there's anything that I won't be doing next year. Um, I had quite a few fails, but um, what I do with failed items is I try to put it away and then leave it for a bit because I feel frustrated and then I'll try to get back to it again. Um, I had a hard time with the Sew Over It Ultimate Trousers. Uh, I used a stretch cotton um, and it just came out way too big and I thought it would have been more fitted. So maybe I'll try that again this year. So knowing that the size I picked was way too big, I'll go down a size or two and then get back to that. So question number three, what are you going to continue doing? So I just started sewing um, February 2017. So it's been a year of sewing. Um, I'm going to keep pushing myself to gain more sewing skills. I'm going to try to do lots of things that I haven't done. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to push myself to do like maybe a lap uh, zipper if I have time. Um, I'm going to be trying jeans because I've never done that before. There's lots of stuff I haven't done since I've only been sewing for years. So lots of things to try. So question number four, what are you going to try next year? So I guess I'm doing this tag a little bit late. I should have done it in December. And then, so I guess they're talking about this year, 2018. Um, there's lots of things I really want to try. I really want to try um, a dress shirt. So I'm probably going to do the kal uh, dress shirt by um, closet case patterns. I really want to try jeans. So actually I started some jeans, uh, the ginger jeans. Um, actually right now closet case patterns is having a sale for their jean um, online course which I highly recommend unfortunately I didn't purchase the course when uh, they had the sale so I paid the full price but I still feel like it's well worth your money even full price so grab it while it's on sale um, you can actually put comments um, in each I guess it's broken up into courses and you can put comments underneath and Heather Lou will actually reply and she's very good at replying right away. I think it took, um, some people it takes like a couple hours and she'll reply and then I think for mine it was like a day but I replied on the weekend so understandable. Really good. She does all these little videos of each 
part of the jeans. Um, so anyways, let's get back on track. Uh, so what else am I going to try next year? Um, I really want to make a Gertie dress. Um, I have Gertie's ultimate dress book, so I'd like to make something from that. Um, if time is feasible. Um, so I really want to do like a lap zipper. Uh, there's some other things I want to make too. I can't remember. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff I want to try. Really want to make, um, yeah, like a vintage dress. At least one. Um, so question number five. What do you see your, where, sorry. Where do you see your handmade wardrobe by the end of next year? And then the next part of that is what about in five years? So next year, I hope... I would have already made jeans. I hope I can get a better understanding on jean fitting um, or pants fitting because I'd also like to make a uh, closet case sasha trousers. Um, so I hope I get a better handle of pants fitting and what else? Maybe hopefully make a vintage dress. Um, and then in five years, I think I'd like to hmm, maybe do some more fine kind of sewing, like, I don't know, couture, I don't know if it's lace, something very high-end looking kind of dress I could make. Um, I think I'd also like to have a better understanding of clothing structure. Uh, and I guess that's about it. Um, I'm sure there's tons more. Maybe next year I'll have a better idea of what I want to be at in five years. So anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope to be making more videos. So if you can give this a thumbs up or subscribe, that'd be great. Um, and thanks so much. Okay, bye.